unboxing of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now this is the retail version. I woke up super early on that Friday to pre-order this phone and I was able to snatch up this titanium blue iPhone 15 Pro Max as you can see. Let's just go ahead and just get right into this. So here we go. iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's that time of the year, ladies and gents. So it's gonna be fun times here at Tech Timmers. Can't wait. Oh, and this is the titanium blue. So first impressions, looking at it right now. Gotta say, it's a nice color. Sick. Gonna grab the device, put that to the side for now. And inside the box, you get your USB C to C cable. Now let me know in the comments below what your thoughts about the iPhone finally switching to USB-C. Personally, I think they should have done this a long time ago so you can charge your different Apple devices with the same cable, MacBook Pro, etc. right? So yeah, USB Type-C now on the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 regular. And this cable is a braided cable. Now, I was, I guess this answers my question. I was wondering if the cable is gonna be matched to the phone. I guess not. You get the white cable. And then here you get the design in Apple or designed by Apple in California. You get your usual documentation with the Apple logo. Although this would have been cool if this was also blue. Apple, you're listening? Color match the stickers and the cable next time around. And that's it in the box. You don't get anything else. And then we're gonna undo this. A little bit of ASMR. And there we go. The iPhone 15 Pro Max in all of its glory, as you can see. Now let's take a close look here at the kind of matte brushed titanium finish here that they put. Yeah, there's definitely you know, some brushing there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's very subtle, but it's there if you look closely enough. Let's go ahead and turn this on. What are your thoughts on Apple switching this from the alert slider to now this customizable button, which can still do the silent switch, right? Personally, I think it's a good move. Volume buttons here. Now on the bottom, you have your speaker cutouts, and of course, the USB type C, which is nice to see, IMO, power switch. This is some antenna stuff. On top, you have nothing. And then on the bottom here, or on the backside of the phone, rather, you have your triple camera setup, and that is the camera bump right there. They get bigger and bigger every year, it seems. Cool, we'll go ahead and go through the setup right now. Fun times ahead. Appearance, we'll just go with the default, the quick start, set up without another device. I'll go ahead and choose my Wi Fi. All right, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Now, I don't have any SIM or any cellular account connected to this phone, so I don't think it's gonna do anything. All right, so what do we got? Software update. You know, I'm gonna update this later. I just wanna get into the phone, man. Data and privacy, we'll click continue on that. Let's see, set up for myself on this. Face ID, we'll set that up later. Create passcode, passcode options. We're not gonna set one up right now. Uh, don't use passcode for now. I'll set all this up later. Don't use passcode. Come on, transfer your apps and data. Again, not gonna transfer anything. I want a clean start. Let's see, the Apple ID, we'll skip this for now. Also, set up later in settings. Don't use, set all that up later. I just wanna get into the phone, agree to this, continue. Not now on the FaceTime location. Disable that for now anyway. Set up later in settings. We're gonna skip the cellular. No SIM card on this or anything. Set up later in settings. Screen time, set up later in settings. iPhone analytics, not gonna share jack. Okay, now, light or dark display. We gotta go with the dark mode. And then silent mode. Okay, continue. Action button. That is what I was talking about earlier. Customizable button now here on the left side of the device. Action button, press and hold to turn silent mode on and off. So that's just like before, but then here's the new stuff. 
You can also customize action button to open camera, turn on the flashlight, or access a favorite iPhone feature. Love that. You know what we'll customize right now? We'll go check it out. Silent mode. Switch between silent and ring for calls and alerts. Nice. See, so if I swipe over here, See, now we have focus. Turn on focus to silence notifications and filter out distractions, etc. The camera, open the camera app to capture a moment. So I think you double press on that, right? I think that's how that works. Flashlights, turn on extra light when you need it. Sweet. Voice memo, have a look. And then magnifier, turn your iPhone to a magnifying glass to zoom in on and detect objects near you. Sweet. Shortcut, accessibility, options, no action. Love it. Emergency SOS will continue. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. And we are in. All right, set up cellular. Again, I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna go to display and brightness. The true tone, I'm gonna turn that off. Raise to wake. I'm gonna turn that off. Auto lock. I'm gonna make this five minutes. That's what I like. And I think we're good for now anyway. It appears like this can only do one thing at a time. For instance, if I switch it to flashlight, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go back. It's the flashlight. So you turn to hold the flashlight on. As you can see, there is the flashlight. I turn it off, you hold again, turns it off. But that's all it can do. Like if I wanna go back to the ringer, if I like try to double click this, it doesn't do anything, right? It's just to the flashlight. So the thing I'd have to say is, Apple, come on, man. Make this a multi-function button. Have it set to flashlight. At the same time, you can also set it to control the ringtone. Like long press for flashlight, or something like that, right? Long press, but then if I wanna silent the phone, I can just double click it, that silence the phone. Or like, if I click that three times, like a triple click, it'll do something else, right? So I do like the idea that Apple has done here. However, I think it can offer a little bit more functionality, you know, like a single press will do one thing, double press will do something else, etc. That's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Overall, the phone does feel good to hold in the hand. Comparing it to the iPhone 14 from last year, I can say, that yes, there is a definite difference in the weight. Now it's not like a heavy phone or a heavy object to begin with, but if you're nitpicky and you're comparing, you know, the difference in grams, as far as how that feels, there's a little subtle difference there in weight. This is lighter and yeah, feels good. Let's test out the cameras real fast. We'll test it out. Here's the box and here's the 14 Pro. Let's take a picture. Bang. This is the half X. This is the, uh, the 1X at the 24 millimeters, boom. This is the 2X, boom. This is the 5X, right into the iPhone logo, boom. Have a look at that. We'll go ahead and do a quick video here. Starting with a 0.5X, wanna make sure that this is in 4K, 30 frames per second, let's start. All right, this is a real quick video of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is in 0.5X. This is filming in 4K, 30 frames per second. As you can see, this is the unboxing table. And look at this. This is the iPhone 15 Plus in the pink, which I'll be unboxing that shortly here as well. There's the S23 Ultra. Nice. Here's 1X zoom. Give you an idea. Here's the 2X. Looks pretty good on the iPhone screen. And this is the 5X if you want to go creep. There you go. Back to the one. Let me know how the sounds in the comments down below. Peace out. Cool, so that was a real quick video test of the iPhone 15 Pro cameras. Let me know of the quality in the comments down below. iPhone 15 Pro Max, let me know what you want me to do with this phone. Speed tests, durability tests, etc. versus its predecessor, last year's iPhone 14 Pro Max versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let me know what you want me to do between these two phones. Should be an interesting battle. Can't wait to test it out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.